Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu Victor, and welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation. Right? Teach Yourself Test Automation. We are teaching ourselves. Well, I'm teaching myself Cyprus right now, and I'm in the process of, you know, going over various topics and doing some practice videos. And when I do the practice videos, I share, right? And when I share, um, if you come across the videos and it helps you out, um, please consider to subscribe, thumbs up to the videos, or, and share the videos, right? And um, yeah, so it's about me creating a knowledge base on what I'm learning. If that knowledge ba base helps you out, then hopefully, um, yeah. I've done my job right and uh, you could just give me a thumbs up please or you can subscribe and, and follow our journey right right now we are learning cyprus and the dream is or the goal not the dream is to go from manual to automation to automation test uh, architect right why not architect why not right but today what are we doing we are looking at drop downs right drop downs this video particularly is how to do drop downs with uh, in insert uh, using Cypress, right? So, how to handle static drop downs using a uh, Cypress. Now, I am on this uh, uh, coding box automation lab. Thank you guys. Um, I'm using your practice site for this video, and it's, it's very difficult getting um, practice sites that actually work on these automation tools, right? So, these guys, shout out to you guys, your, your site is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So if this one we're going to be we're going to look at dynamic drop down example next video. This video we're looking at static drop downs, right? So why is it called static drop down? It's called static drop down because what you have in the drop down doesn't change. It's fixed, right? You you cannot play with them. You just select them, right? So it's a fixed fixed drop down, static drop down, right? Another way to tell if it's a static drop down, if you inspect it and you look at the HTML. <clears throat> HTML code for, for, for this particular um, for that particular field so that select field um, the tag right the tag always starts with select if a tag starts with select right and it's one of a drop down then that drop down is a static drop down right so that's what we're going to be looking at uh, just now with with uh, Cypress how to select one of these options right here right so We've got three options here selenium appium and api right so we'll go for selenium right so all we want to do is come in here click on that and then select selenium right that's all we want to do right let's go see how we can do that on um, on our visual visual studio code right so um we, we just this is an old test case i'll just copy mm, this is the um, intelligent code completion right if you've watched my previous video you know what the intelligent code completion video is all about i mean code completion um code is all about right so that's just for suggestions right so when you access the uh, the cypress apis by by typing cy and when you hit dot right it auto suggests on the methods right so it accesses the apis and auto suggests suggests the methods that you can select so those methods could be you know find select visit right so here we go and um, so we need to create a new test right we need to create a new test so we're just going to intel in integration integration folder examples and then hit this icon up here to create a new file and we just call it static right static drop down just make sure i'm spelling right and the extension is always a dot js right dot js so that's that right so we just drop our auto complete uh, completion code in there intelligent code completion yeah intelligent code completion right so it's always good practice to see how the framework is written i mean to always practice to write the, to to come up with the framework from scratch right so we know and Cypress uses the uh, mockup framework, and the mockup framework is it's got two parts to the to the framework. It's got two functions, right? One of the functions is describe. <coughs> Just 
right? Let's make sure we spell it right. Describe, right? Describe, right? And then describe function. The describe function is going to hold your test suite, right? It's going to hold your test suite. So we're doing static drop down. We just say static, static drop down and remember you want to put this in in in, in quotes right you want to put this in quotes right and then it's a function right so it's function function right and then open and close brackets and then your curly brackets open and close curly brackets uh, where's that uh, come on type type that's it right so that is your 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 your, your describe um a framework right that describe framework which is going to hold your test cases right now your test cases will be held by the it the keyword is it right and it's going to be exactly the same right but it's going to be holding your test cases right it's going to be holding your test cases so it uh open and close you want to open and close your your quotation mark your quotation marks as well and here we'll just say um first static static drop down test case right too long right you don't have to do it too long like that right and then comma and this is also a function as well right function right and then open and close um open and closed brackets and then open and closed uh, curly brackets as well right curly brackets not that <laughs> curly brackets right and now that's you ready this is your framework ready to accept your test cases right so what's the first thing you we, we want to do on the website first thing we want to do on the website is actually visit the website right so in cypress you access your your cypress apis by cy dot now to go to a website it's visit right so visit right open and close brackets open and close question marks and then you drop in the url in there right and that's how simple it is just to visit the web the website right just to visit the website now what do we want to do we want to grab we want to grab that element right that uh, select element so we're back head, head back here so this element we want to locate that element and then from that uh, that drop down so the drop down is the element right the element on the on the web page so we we'll have to inspect right inspect that element and then from the html code we've got an id here we could use the id or yeah i think we're just going to use the id right so if we double click on that right remember so we have to go cy dot get so we are getting that element that drop down element before we carry an action on that element right so open and closed brackets quotations and remember to to uh, transform or to change your id into a css selector for cypress it's hashtag or my hashtag why why is it not my hashtag my boy has been here my boy has been here <laughs> sorry had to go look for my hashtag my real boy has changed my the way my keyboard work keyboard works so we just have to put a hashtag and then put our id right and then what do we want to do right mostly dot now what do you want what action do you want to carry out on that a uh, 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 drop down right you just want to select right and that's what that's what you use for cypress as well select right select method right and then you just open and close this is how it simply is as well right open and close your, your brackets and then open and close your quotations boom double quotations doesn't matter double quotations doesn't matter but you go for single quotations right and then in here you want to write what you want to select right so we want to select uh, I think it was selenium, right? 
uh, yeah, selenium, right? So, and then, yeah, this is it, selenium here, right? So, we want to selenium. And if you look at selenium, the value, value of the selenium uh, HTML tag here, well, the tag is option, right? Okay, so the value is, we, we're going to use this value to actually see that we are we are we are selecting the right thing right so if we go back and go back to our visual studio code and we we say uh, drop the selenium in there and then we want to make sure that we are selecting the correct option on the yeah i'm using option and they've used option for their value right we want to make sure we are selecting the correct option from our drop down list right so we want to go dot so this is kind of like an assertion right dot shoot right shoot i think i should take myself away from here so that you can see what i'm doing dot let's go again dot shoot right open and close right and in here uh, open and close brackets as well dot should have Right, so dot should have a comma, and what should it have? What should it have? What value should it be holding? So should have value, right? Again, uh, single quotes will do nicely, right? Should have a value. So if we go back to our our website, if you drop, if you see the option here, this is the option, right? So as Selenium and the actual value is equals to option one, right? So if we copy that option one and put it in our value, I hope you're following this, right? And that's it, right? So we have, we have, we have so what we're doing here, we've located, located the, the drop down, right? And from that drop down, so the drop down field by using the CSS selector ID, and then from that drop down field, we are selecting selenium right which is a, the option we want from the drop down and to make sure that we are selecting the right uh, option or the right uh, selection from the list we are using uh, uh, an assertion that should have value should have value of option one right so that's how simple it is if we just want to run this well save it first and i think i'll go my yeah yeah so my uh, test runner is open so we we'll just click on the test case which is our static drop down click on it and hopefully it doesn't take too long right? so the selection hopefully is going to be correct and there's going to be an assertion right an assertion that passes to make to say that yes we did make the correct selection Mm, it's taking some time. Normally, the first time I should have made sure I run, I run, I run something before so that it, it, you know, it runs it faster the first time. But the first time around is usually slow, so that's all right. But the test cases after that run very fast. We are waiting, we are waiting. So, this is our path to our test case Cypress integration example, and then we've got our test case, right? Static drop down to JS. Still waiting. I think because this is the first time it's kicking off today. Come on. Right, so it looks like the website has been visited. Hmm. Come back. Hmm. Right, so it's visiting the website now. This is one thing that's very good about uh, uh, Cypress. Your, the the um the code the code log the log the log um command log at the side here where you can actually debug your cases in real time see that's done so we visited the website we we've, we located our drop down field we selected um see you see up here before and after so if we go after mm, it doesn't show before and after on this website but it has selected selenium and to just do an, our, our assertion also pass right that selenium uh, it's indeed the one 
selected because it selected the correct value, right? The value that's reference to Selenium. So if we go and say, right, ah, uh, so a uh, say we say the value of option two, and then we have done let's 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 do that, right? <clears throat> We by mistakenly put the option as option two, right? Instead of option one, right? And we know this is wrong, right? So it says option two, this is wrong. This will run faster this time because once you just save and your test has run before, it just kicks it off straight away, right? So this should run faster this time around. So we are expecting our, our assertion now to fail because we are using the wrong value, right? And this is what's beautiful about the Cypress, right? it shows you straight away so it says all right it's failed uh, because it's the assertion fails because it says uh, to have a value option two right so we are trying to pass a value i mean compare a value of option two to the option one which is the actual real value and it's not liking that right it's not liking that so it's just failed right so you can actually time travel your tests try and travel through your code right through each step of the code on your test case which is which is brilliant so let's just go back and change that right just in case it fails next time and i can start wondering what i have done <laughs> that's wrong right so if we go back here just change it to one run it again make sure it passes right and it should pass this time very fast right there we go i did show you right I did show you this side, right? Select, select Selenium actually got selected, right? Selenium actually got selected. And yeah, let's so Selenium actually got selected. Right? But if you go, ah, it's 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 fiddling. Ah, that website is just a bit. Yeah, Selenium actually got selected. Yeah, that's it then. Okay, thank you. My name is Kevin Owasuito. As I said, right, we are here to to um well I'm here to to learn and by doing that i capture uh, what i've learned and i share uh, hopefully this uh, helps someone else and like you watching um, and if it does please uh, consider subscribing right and hitting the bell icon to make to get videos as when when i, I, uh, I release them right and also like comment you know share the video um, and to share to share the learning experience right thank you again for stopping by my name is kevin Ovasu. stay blessed bye